Hi, my name is Doug Windiker, and I'm a product specialist here at Atlas Copco for the QA products. Today, we're going to cover residual joint audits, and um, we already have a, a route programmed in our ST pad. It's been pushed down, uh, and it's contained here in the route. So if we select our routes, we have our three different routes types we have. The very top is our residual joint check. Now, if I hit the play button right now, I have two residual joint audits that we're going to do. The top one is the one we're going to perform. Now, when I hit this play button, I'm going to get a pop-up screen saying no suitable device connected. That's because my SD wrench is not talking to the pad at this point. But you can see there's a shortcut button down here. All I have to do is hit that, and it takes me to my measuring device screen. You can see I have, um, at the top is the SD bench, and you can see the connection up because I'm actually attached to my SD bench. But the other two devices, my SD wrench and IRC connect, it just says paired. So what I want to do is make the SD wrench start talking. So I hit that. And then I hit connect, and very quickly the connection is established. And if I go back, and you can see now the connection is up to my SD wrench. So when I hit the back button here, it goes back into our test result screen. You heard the beep beep on the SD wrench with a zero zero. So that means we're ready to pull our residual torques. All right, so we're over here at a test joint. These uh, fasteners have been run down to 40 newton meters, and we're going to do our joint inspection right now. The SD wrench, I'm going to do nice fluid pulls on the wrench. Getting our results. There's one of five. There's two, two of five. And you can see this is a very quick audit. And last but not least, our fifth one. And there you go. All right, so back here on the ST pad, after completing our batch of five residual joint checks, this is our information that we're seeing here. We see our run chart here, and you see an awful lot of dots. So what, what for each residual pull we do, we have two physical dots on our run chart, and over on the right, you can see the actual data points we're talking about. And what this represents is the lower value here is our residual torque, and the higher value is the peak torque. And the peak torque is after I've moved the bolt in the tightening direction to get the residual, this is what was left over. Um, this is really important because we could potentially pull a residual torque in the tightening direction again, adding additional torque that could potentially put us out of spec for this joint. And if that was the case, this whole line over here would be red and it would tell us that um, and on the trace, if we look at the trace, that would be represented by a red dot or a red not okay versus two round circles here indicating a good uh, rundown here. But we can look at this uh, trace, if you will, um, torque versus time, torque versus angle, any way you want to look at it. And we can actually zoom in here if we need to, which is a pretty nice feature. Again, going back to the results screen, at the bottom, we always have our running statistics of where we're going. In this case, we're doing a CPCPK. Um, you can see that information here. And if we click on the summary button, we'll get that same information in a little bit of a different format. And we can restart the test here if we need to from this screen. And like our other tests, we have the ability to delete results if we need to, add notes, and take a picture and tie that to the data. Um, if there was additional information running this inspection, um, right now it's just taking a residual torque, torque, but if we hit that little I button there, we can actually get some instructions if we need to. So if there was a certain order we could define in there, that information would be uh, indicated in, in this screen right here. So this is how you do a joint inspection using an ST pad. If you have any further questions, contact your Atlas Copco rep, and thank you for watching.